an illustrious career, a long, happy marriage, a sudden tragedy. Singer Kelly Pickler's husband, Kyle Jacobs, has died by suicide, according to TMZ. Keep watching to find out more about his tragic death. Law enforcement says the former American Idol star, Kelly Pickler, woke up inside the couple's home in Nashville, Tennessee, and noticed that her husband wasn't in bed. She started looking around the house for him and worried that something may have happened when she couldn't open an upstairs door. Pickler called 911 and emergency personnel came to the home where Jacobs was found dead. He was 49 years old. According to E! News, Pickler and Jacobs lived a private life together in Nashville. She told the outlet, I'm such a simple girl, honestly. I love gardening. My friends call me the fifth unofficial golden girl. I'm that 104-year-old trapped in a 35-year-old body. I love puzzles. I love good conversations. I love to sit on the front porch in my rocking chair. I just like to be in good company. Pickler and Jacobs tied the knot in 2011 and didn't have any children together. Kyle Jacobs was a talented songwriter who played the piano, the guitar, and he could sing too. Kelly Pickler gushed about her husband to people back in 2015. He is so good at what he does. The two had worked together several times since they first met. Pickler said, I'm so excited to be in the studio again, recording a new album, and working with Kyle has been amazing. He has watched me perform over the years, so it was great to have a front row seat as an artist and see him in his element. Jacobs, who also doubled as a music producer, collaborated and wrote songs for some of the biggest country stars, including Tim McGraw and American Idol alum Kelly Clarkson. In 2007, Jacobs earned his first Billboard number one song after Garth Brooks's More Than a Memory topped the chart. In 2014, the talented songwriter added to his slew of achievements when he snagged an Academy of Country Music Award for producing I Drive Your Truck, Lee Bryce's 2012 hit song. But while the accolades and achievements were great to have, Jacobs never got carried away and was always true to writing songs that spoke to the heart. He wrote in a 2021 Instagram post, One of my favorite things to do as a songwriter is writing songs with beautiful hearts in beautiful places. As the music scene continues to mourn Kyle Jacobs' sudden demise, fans continue to search for clues that might have suggested the songwriter had a troubled life, except there doesn't appear to be any. If anything, Jacobs' social media always portrayed him to be in good spirits. His last Instagram post was no different. In the post, shared only a day before his tragic death, Jacobs celebrated a new milestone for Lee Bryce's fifth studio album, Hey World, which he produced. He wrote in the caption, Platinum? Sweet! An amazing crew of incredibly talented peeps put this one together. Deeply honored to be a creative part of it. Thank you, Jesus. Back in December 2022, Jacobs also showed off his impressive Spotify rap stats, showing that he had amassed more than 46 million streams and 8 million listeners through some of his writing credits. He wrote, Kinda cool seeing how a song created in a little room on Music Row can reach so many people. Feeling very blessed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Kelly Pickler and Kyle Jacobs kept their marriage private, but between them were a lot of beautiful memories. For instance, in the early 2000s when the couple met, Jacobs hoped to impress Pickler with his success, and so, when it was time to introduce himself, he said, Hi, I'm Kyle. I'm a songwriter. The plan, however, did not work out as well as he planned, as Pickler was largely unimpressed. But it did not take too long for the pair to start working together, and even better, to fall in love. Eventually, after years of dating, Jacobs popped the big question on June 15, 2010, a day the tough singer has described as one of the most memorable of her life. She recounted in a 2017 Instagram post, After Kyle got down on one knee and me screaming yes, we watched the sunset slowly paint a colorful end to a beautiful day. Pickler and Jacobs exchanged wedding vows in a beachfront ceremony in Antigua. Pickler told People at the time, When two people get married, it's not about the glamour, it's about the bride and groom and God. We didn't have anything but us and God and our minister, and I can't think of a word that can quite describe how perfect it was. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please dial or text 988 to speak with the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. You can also seek help by visiting 988lifeline.org.